himself at all times. Remember, there's a mandatory eight count in. Okay, boys, shake hands. Good luck, you both. Well, Ryan Rhodes is really on a roll at the moment. He's been making some headlines. Youngest British champion at any weight since the last World War. Lonsdale belt in record time. His best win is that one over Paul Silky Jones, another Sheffield fighter who was a world champion at this weight, late middleweight. The word from the Lyndon Scarlet camp is, although he comes in as a late substitute, he's really going to have a go here. But he is outweighed, and he's outweighed against a fighter who's a biggish puncher in his own division. You think that could be a, a very big factor? because he's a big, big puncher, and there's talk that he'll move up and weight soon. So he's, as they stand in the ring now, he's probably uh, quite a bit heavier. Scarlett had a terrific scrap last time out against Dennis Berry, and he won that when Berry was disqualified for biting in the sixth round. And he was uh, involved in another real thriller, too, with Chris Peters. He's often in good fights, this Lyndon Scarlett, from Dudley in the West Midlands. Rhodes, of course, fighting in his home city of Sheffield. Rhodes has had a holiday since his last British title defence against Del Bryan in Reading on March the 15th. He must be earning a few bob at the moment. Certainly was. That's a pretty quick time for three fights. <laughs> it would be an absolute sensation if this Lyndon Scarlett could upset the apple cart. Rhodes was due to fight an American with a pretty pathetic record called Kevin Lauder, and he was rightly pulled out. Really would have been uh, pretty meaningless and there's a right hand from Rhodes and that spells trouble for Scarlett first time he really let go Scarlett's badly shaken up felt the weight of the punch from the big punching like middle like this might not last long this may not last long well, already he's shown the, the power that he possesses well Scarlett is just going to try to go for it but that was an ominous sign. Scarlett's great, gamely trying to fight back here. He's on the back foot though, and Rhodes, having put his man down, is looking now for the punches to finish the job. Will he find them in this first round? There's only just over a quarter of a minute left. He might do, right uppercut, then another right hand, and I don't think Lyndon Scarlett is going to be able to go on. He's up at five, and he nearly fell out of the ring. Fight stopped anyway, over in the first round. Scarlett out of his weight division, and it has to be said, out of his class as well. And Ryan Rhodes continues to build his reputation. And how soon before they let him off the leash in world class? Maybe not long. I would have thought, you know, of course we'll see the damage around the, the right eye of Scarlett. So he's suffered some damage and a, a bad knockout there. But that really just showed the power that Ryan Rhodes has got. And I think he's getting more and more with, with confidence. He's, he's showing how to deliver these fights with speed, these punches with speed and confidence. And he's getting better all the time. Well, they're keeping him busy, and he does punch hard. But really, there was a kind of inevitability about it, really, wasn't there? I think the, the fact that Scarlett came in at, at very, very short notice and was you know, much the lighter man, we, we didn't really think he could put up with the power, and it was shown very, very early that he was out of his depth as far as power. Don't take anything away from Rhodes. He's doing his job and doing it in spectacular fashion. But uh, maybe it hasn't really told us too much more about Ryan Rhodes. I'd like to see him, I must say, in with Ensley Bingham, the former champion. And I think the British Boxing Board of Control want that fight to happen. Whether 
Frank Warren would allow Ryan Rhodes to have a high risk fight with a big puncher like Bingham, I don't know. Well, I think the point's going to come soon when he has to go in with someone like Bingham, who, where he has to you know, be up against the test and he has to come through a real test. As of yet, he hasn't ha quite had that. Good win it was over Paul Silky Jones, but the fights against Peter Ward be Del Bryan and this one against Lyndon Scarlett has to be said on the soft side and uh, it's time for another significant test for Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 54 seconds of the first round, the referee stops the contest with Lyndon Scarlett in no position to continue. The winner and new IBF Intercontinental Light Middleweight Champion, Ryan Rose. Well, it was a good performance from Rod as, as far as power goes you know he's a, he's a puncher Ladies it was a little bit notable like when he was fighting a guy coming in at such Lyndon short notice Lyndon that he would get through with a good punch but he did it in such spectacular style so very early you know he certainly can punch very hard Rhodes has weighed as much as 11 stone 10 in his career and Scarlett's never made, weighed more than 11 stone and a half a pound uh, that was a big factor in there but Rhodes is class and he is destined maybe for stardom as well and uh, he's got a growing following people beginning to ask about him he's coming out of the shadow of prince nasim hamed and uh, is becoming a real star in his own right there's his mum tina who of course was given the lonsdale belt that he won in record time she keeps that safely in a safe somewhere and uh, the other question of course is how much longer does ryan rhodes stay at light middleweight all the talk is of him moving up to middleweight. They've even talked about Steve Collins. I think that really is talk at the moment because it's uh, a long way up the weights. Anyway, we shall find out a lot more because Ryan Rhodes is about to talk to Adam Smith. Well, Ryan, the mission continues. Another title to your name, the youngest winner of this. Explosive finish. It's just going to keep on continuing as well, like you've just said. Um, I can only get better. I'm 20 years old. Um, look what I'm doing. The first round. If I hit anybody, that's it, they're going out. If I hit anybody on the chin, they're going out, that's all I can say. Change of opponents at the last minute, that didn't worry you? It didn't worry me at all. Um, from last Sunday, I've had three opponents. Um, Frank's done the best he can to get me this, this opponent. Ernie's done the best he can, Brendan's done the best. Um, they've all done the best they can. Uh, the guy I've been, the guy I've been there with tonight uh, fought for a British title before. Um, full respect to him. But like I said, once I hit him, once I connect with my punches, they go in. No matter who they are, no matter how, how they say they've got a good chin, once these land, that's it, they're going over. But Ryan, it was an early night. Do you think now it's time for a, for a more dangerous opponent next time? I'll fight anybody, anybody out there, anybody at light middleweight. Um, there's Andrew Bingham, there's Steve Foster, there's uh, Adrian Dodson. I'll fight oh, any one of them. Steve Collins. There's even Steve Collins at super middleweight. Frank, <laughs> let's bring you in here. The British board. Of, uh, of control of order to defence, NZ Bingham by July the 31st. Now he is dangerous. Yeah, he's a dangerous, good puncher, NZ. It'll be a great fight, but uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, obviously we'll be we'll be talking about it over the next few weeks. You know, uh, this guy here is a tremendous puncher as well. And I think when you've got two bangers in the ring, anything can happen. But he's the new kid on the block. He's the kid who's coming through. Endley's been there. He's done it. Fought for a world title. It'll be a very interesting fight. And you think that will happen? Why not? Why not? You know. That's a fight that the public wants to see. I'm sure, sure you want to see it. I want to see it. He wants it. Emsley wants it. Ain't no problem making it. And beyond that, Ryan, are you ready for a world title later this year? Definitely. Definitely. Like I said, once these land, no matter if they're world champion or what, once they land, they're going over. No matter who they are. That's all I'm saying. Once they land, they're going over. Thanks, Ryan. Have a good night. Well, thanks a lot, Sky. Brilliant.